When I look in the mirror, I don't see wrinkles. <laughs> when I look in the mirror, I see hair on my head, not my shoulder. And hello, hello, hello. This is Adrian Berg, and this is Generation Bowl, the fountain of truth. The fountain of truth about what? The fountain of truth about aging. And aging is not about old. Aging is about the single one life process that everybody on this planet, regardless of race, religion, nationality, and temperament are doing right now. So we're all together in this. And you know that I seek guests that will bring you a difference, a voice that you may not be able to hear directly that usually doesn't speak to the consumer uh, in this one-on-one way, so that you really get informed about your own aging which is why I'm really pleased today that we're going to have some time with uh, Ed Rice. Now, he is the CEO and chairman of Quanta, and I'm going to spell it for you, Q-U-A-N-T-A. But he's a, really, he's a serial entrepreneur, uh, having co-founded 25 Ventures, which is a company in, in 2013, a venture studio that develops different products and services. And so if he's interested in something, he usually knows beforehand that there is a market for it. So today we're going to be talking about two things. Primarily, we will be talking about what's in your face cream. And you know that we talk about very serious things here. Uh, However, this is serious too. And I was fascinated by the fact that he can explain certain things like inflammation, how CBD works on your body, uh, how creams work, what polarity is with regard to ingredients in your face creams, your muscle rubs, and so on, in a way that is clear. And so the reason, Eric, that I really am so happy to to talk with you today is we have many, many scientists on this show. We'll tell you all later about a new conference called Metabesity 2020 that I'm directing. They're all scientists and researchers. Half the time, you can't understand what they're telling you. They're geniuses, but they don't always translate the science to the consumer And Eric, among many other things, calls himself a translator, and I know that he is. So thank you so much for being with us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Well, you know what I did? I I told Eric, actually, during the uh, pre-call here, I went through a beautiful jar that he sent me. Uh, By the way, you should know that this is not an ad. I'm receiving no compensation for it. The only thing I have done is use the products to make sure there's something I, I, I could suggest to you. Because in the course of speaking with Eric and getting a lot of information, you'll know about the Quanta products. So if I didn't like them, that would would have been a a no-go. But they're great. So uh, I read the bottle, read the jar, and I saw some things in there, Eric. And I, I felt that they were a great connection for people to understand what they are using now and why it has to do with aging. And as I told you, I wanted to discuss some of those. So I want to start with your ideas, the scientific ideas that you have about polarity, polarization, specifically for a moment with Arnica, which helps with bruising. So explain polarity a little bit and and what kind of ingredients can you use that science process on and what can't you and what does it do for us? Sure, sure. Yeah, so in- ingredients in general, we think of them a lot differently than most people do. Um, ingredients, especially ones like Arnica that have you know, literally tens of thousands of years of research behind them, they are truly messengers. So the ingredients that you put in your body aren't the things that perform. You know, if you're looking for a specific result from an ingredient, it's not necessarily the ingredient that does it. What the ingredient does is it tells your body what to do. So it'll find the correct enzyme, and it's supposed to transfer information. But the problem with today's ingredients is the fact that, especially in cosmetics, they're mostly in powder format that are remixed. But they're plucked from the ground. They're stored for sometimes two to five years before they're sold in the market. And by the time we get ingredients, they have no energy left in them like they did when they were once live. So what polarization does is we, we work at the subatomic level. So not a molecule, not an atom, but we work with the actual electrons and, and the nucleus of an atom. And we expand that electron cloud or increase the energy level so that when the ingredient hits your body or enters your body, it has enough energy to tell your body exactly what to do. And that's a piece of the puzzle that's been missing for 50 to 60 years when it comes to aging. 
So uh, Arnica itself, um, it's great for bruising, but it's good for bruising because Arnica on a topic level increases blood flow to a specific area of your body. So anything that's ever painful in your body or, or that, that has, you know, contusion buildup underneath the skin, that's generally due to low, low blood flow. So Arnica by itself will get rid of bruises in a few days in general. Um, we see it generally happen in about a day or two because of the energy level that we, that we bring out of the Arnica before we put it into our products. So All right, so let me talk about to... yeah. Let me talk about health and beauty at the same time here, and then we'll go on to another ingredient. So, Arnica, for those of you who have Botox, let's say, uh, I'm a bruiser. That's a, I have very very good skin, but all the veins and everything are very close to the surface. So I bruise whether I have to take a, an injection because they're taking my blood because I'm doing a a checkup, or whether I'm doing a, something beauty. I don't do very much, but I do some, and I, everybody knows that I like Botox. Uh, and I'll bruise, so I use Arnica. However, it's different. What, what we're hearing from Eric is there's Arnica, and then there's Arnica that gets, uh, translates better to your own, your own body ability to heal. So that's number one. Now, I'm talking about something perhaps some people feel frivolous beauty, but my mom, she used to take Plavix, and Plavix is a blood thinner, and she would bruise a lot from that. And use Arnica. So, so do, do be aware that the, our discussion of ingredients here can be looked at from the point of view of just looking better, which to me is very important, actually, but could also be looked at and understood from a health point of view for many different things. So let's go back to you, Eric. The next thing, I, I was very surprised. I'll tell you, I was very surprised. Uh, when I was reading about, about Quanta, it said you could use it for eczema. That you didn't even mention. So explain what that is because it is becoming rampant in people over the age of 60. So tell us a little bit about it and how what you're doing and your ingredients affect that. Sure, sure. Yeah, so Arnica plays a part in, 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 the, in the, the curing of eczema and psoriasis, which are fairly similar. Uh, both of those two are a result of inflammation. Uh, both, of, both of them, as skin, skin diseases, they, they, they have a, a real strong root in inflammation. Um, and I'm a sufferer as well, so I'm part Greek. So about three years mm-hmm. ago, for most of my life, my, both of my elbows were covered in psoriasis. So when we started playing around with R&D with different ingredients and seeing what happens, and we made this, you know, the first version of, of our anti-aging cream, I started using it on my elbows. And I can, if, if we were on, on camera today, I could show them to you that I, I just have scars. I no longer have any bumps or any, any, any crusty uh, uh, outer skin. So Arnica, along with some of the other ingredients in, in the formula, is designed to reduce the inflammation, increase the blood flow, and to help you know, rebuild cellular reproduction so that cells are reproducing properly. Uh, it's a really, really big important part in aging, especially with the skin. It comes down to inflammation and a slowdown in cellular reproduction. Arnica really so assists with that by increasing blood flow. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, CEO and chairman of Quanta, Eric Rice, who is speaking with right now, he's also a marketer. He really understands. Tell people about the eczema. You, it's too buried. I'm a marketer too. Put it in like a big bold thing, because <laughs> they, I. That's true. I use a lot of stuff for that. And it, I never had any of those issues. I don't want to get too personal here on the show. Everybody turns it off. But the fact is, it's happening to all of us. We get these little things, and we never did. And so when I go to my dermatologist, she says, you know, it's aging. Uh, it's expected. Well, I don't like it, and I don't want it. So if uh, this type of eczema or psoriasis, which can be even worse, can be helped with a cream that isn't specifically for it, but is really for uh, better skin, a nice complexion. I'm all for the multi-purpose uses, but you have to understand the ingredients. All right. So now a magic word was said by Eric, and the magic word is uh, inflammation. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be talking a little bit about that. So I want to set the stage for that before our next segment. There's going to be a, a very important conference, and it's going to be for research scientists behavioral scientists, and the FDA, uh, policymakers, and lawmakers. It's all about looking at aging as being able to be prevented, the diseases of aging. Aging, of course, isn't prevented. We don't want it. We want to keep aging. Um, The diseases of aging prevented or delayed. And this includes cancer and Alzheimer's, the whole package 
um, uh, of course, Parkinson's, even heart disease that we don't think of as a condition of aging per se is ex- uh, exacerbated in older adults. Even the coronavirus, why are we a vulnerable population? I used to just be an old lady. Now all of a sudden I'm a vulnerable population. Well, because things happen to us simply because of age. And this metabesity says most of those things can be helped if you are concentrating on your metabolism and your immune system and inflammation. Interestingly enough, this Quanta cream, which we could even call a beauty cream, we'll talk about muscle relaxants and and, and aches and pains in a minute, uh, are looking at exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing from the point of view of how skin care reacts. So don't you go anywhere. We will be right back. I'm going to be talking about the, the biggest, biggest cause of aging negatives, and that is inflammation. Don't go anywhere. You may think that I'm full of it, but that doesn't bother me, not even a bit, because I am happy, and I freely admit I'm inappropriate. For my age, da 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 da, da 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 da. You may think that I'm full of it, but that doesn't bother me not even a bit, cause I am happy, and I freely admit I'm inappropriate for my age, da 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 da. And hello, hello, hello once again, and this is Adrian Berg, and I am speaking with Eric Rice. Uh, he is the CEO. He is the chairman of Quanta, Q-U-A-N-T-A. We'll tell you how to look that up. These are a, basically a line of products that I think are going to grow and grow. Uh, the, uh, aches and pains for your muscles, uh, beauty creams. I'm going to call them beauty creams because my mother used to call them beauty creams. And I do not want to call them anti-aging because I love aging. Uh, and I want to get rid of that word. So for me, it's a beauty cream. And yet, and yet, they uh, are chock full of ingredients that relates specifically to aging of the body in general. And I really wanted Eric to explain it to you in his language, not bring on a scientist uh, to explain it in their language. And one of the, uh, I would say one of the, the real, the real enemies of healthy aging is inflammation. We hear about it and yet we really don't understand how that works and I'm going to throw this on to Eric, who is a translator between the science and the consumer. Tell me the importance of informa- inflammation and, and can really a simple cream, something you put on your skin, make a difference? Sure, sure. Yeah, well, well, inflammation has two parts. So there's good inflammation and bad inflammation. So good inflammation is an alert system from the body, letting you know that there's an injury or specific area of concern uh, to pay attention to. And then there's chronic inflammation, which is bad inflammation, which is usually systemic, uh, can be caused by many different things, diet being a major one of them. Like every time you eat sugar, you raise inflammation levels in the body. Uh, When that happens, you're actually taking insulin out of the system and processing insulin and glucose through the liver. So you're, you're, you're kind of, you know, that's, that's where, why sugar causes diabetes, right? It's, it's, it's a really big part of that. But inflammation itself has many different faces. So it has systemic throughout your whole body, and then it has local, has regional. And when you look at aging, especially in the face or the skin, uh, inflammation is fairly chronic, right? Inflammation is a result of some sort of environmental uh, uh, disruption of homeostasis. So our skin is constantly uh, exposed to the environment. And and no matter what environment you're in, something is going to cause uh, either coldness or hotness uh, within the skin, and that's going to raise levels of inflammation to alert your body there's something wrong. However, most most people don't treat it. They don't really consider inflammation to be something that the skin uh, has a problem with. They usually think of it more for underneath the skin, in the muscles or the bones or the, or the blood. But the skin itself right. is constantly inflamed, constantly. And, and let's and just remind, that, I just, Eric, I just want to remind everybody that the skin is the largest actual organ of the body. It is an organ yeah. just like your heart and your liver and your kidney. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Absolutely. And it's a protectant. I mean, first and foremost, it is, it is, it is the outer layer of your body that protects everything on the inside. So you really want to treat it well. A lot of people have theories that aging starts on the inside and moves out. Some people think that aging starts at the skin and moves in. They're both correct scientifically. Uh, every person is different. 
But in essence, what happens is every time you get inflammation that, that flares up in your body, multiple things can go wrong, no matter where the inflammation is, because what your body is divert, doing is diverting from homeostasis. So anywhere in your body that's inflamed will inflect, it will infect the rest of your body. So making sure that you're, you're, co- you're conscious of that, especially as we get older, uh, is very, very important. So when it comes to the skin and focusing on inflammation, uh, the COX-2 enzyme is what causes inflammation. So we've heard the term COX-2 inhibitor uh, used by ibuprofen companies and, 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 and people who are producing aspirin. Uh, but that COX-2 enzyme loves to go crazy because it's an alert system, just like a, a watchdog at your home, right? So watchdogs don't bark once. They bark until you realize that there's something to pay attention to. So unless you're paying attention to it, it's going to catch up to you. And inflammation causes lots of different problems in the body. The main one being that it affects the, the area in which you're inflamed. It, it affects the cell's ability to reproduce. So inflammation is really the root or the stem of where aging begins. So the less inflammation now, you can uh, produce gonna, in the body, the better. Now I'm going to get a little bit um, scientific on everybody because there's a couple of words I want everybody to know. If you're going to be really reading about life extension, and I assure you, you are. Uh, if you're going to be reading about longevity, which you're already doing, uh, you're going to know exactly what Eric uh, means. Uh, Eric Rice is on point here. Why do we age? And in fact, why do we die? Because cells don't reproduce. There's two parts to that. One, they get shorter and shorter, and that's called your telomeres, how long your cell endings are. And the other is called senescence, which is the failure of the cell to reproduce. Uh, what we should all be doing is basically dying of old age, not of heart disease, not of cancer, not of Alzheimer's, not of a disease, but of being advanced in years. It's politically incorrect to say that we're dying of old age. It's no good. Uh, But that would be the ideal. But why would that happen? Because your cell didn't reproduce. Now, what Eric is saying is inflammation causes that problem as well. And we want our cells to reproduce, uh, particularly if we want to be looking good. So now we go to the ingredients that you've researched and your, 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 your science, scientists have researched. What can we put topically? This, this is where most people would argue that we've got an issue. What can we do topically to make that difference in cell reproduction and inflammation? Sure. Yeah. So, so some of the ones that we're working on right now that we, we have mixed in here, a, a, a really strong one that had a lot of popularity years ago, but it kind of fell victim to what I spoke about earlier, the, the lack of bioenergy and ingredients, right? They're so old and stored, they don't have the energy that they had when they were growing from the ground. Right. Uh, one fresh. of those is resveratrol. It's, uh, it was very mm-hmm. popular in the late 90s. Um, you know, people started drinking wine to try to absorb more of it. This is not enough in wine. Uh, but resveratrol is fantastic for increasing cellular reproduction as long as it's matched with an anti-inflammatory. So if you can, if you can lower the local inflammation in an area and then provide some resveratrol uh, with high energy so that it actually works, uh, you will begin to see the inflammation drop and then reduce that stress in that local area. And then the resveratrol will come in and allow the cells to start reproducing at a normal rate. Very, very potent and powerful uh, cellular reproduction ingredient. Okay, so you should know that I tell everybody what I do personally, whether they're interested or not, it's up to them, uh, but resveratrol. So I went to a science um, for laymen, science for consumers, and NYU, uh, maybe, I don't know how many years, maybe six or seven years ago, I try to go every year, and I met the fellow who was the scientist behind resveratrol, and because I'm impressed, I'm I interviewed him, and he told me, but I couldn't reveal it then, that he had sold it for, I think, millions, m- many more than millions, to Glasgow. And I said, oh, I'm going to go drink a, a glass of red wine. Because explain to me what was resveratrol. It was in red wine and a few other things. He said, okay, but you'll have to drink a 1,000 glasses a day. <laughs> if you Honestly, the hand to God. I said, that sounds good. But, but anyway, and then I got disappointed. <laughs> I got disappointed because I only really like white wine, and he said it wasn't it wasn't as good. So, of course, what did I begin to do when it came on the market? Take a supplement, and I do. I take resveratrol as a supplement. But here you're saying we can also put that on our skin. So you see how all yeah. of this is connected. All of this is connected. Now, what else? 
what else are we are we looking at? We don't know. We'll be back in just a moment, and we're going to figure out exactly exactly what we can do, not only for beauty but for our muscles, for the pains and aches that may come as we get older. And my crowd is very. But it would be nice if we just felt a little bit better. We'll be back in a moment. You may think that I'm full of it, but that doesn't bother me, not even a bit, because I am happy and I freely admit I'm inappropriate for my age. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. You may think that I'm full of it, but that doesn't bother me, not even a bit. I am happy and I freely admit I'm inappropriate for my age. Da, 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 da. And hello, hello, hello. This is Adrian Berg and this is Generation Bold, the Fountain of Truth. We are back with serial entrepreneur, CEO and chairman of Quanta, uh, Eric Rice, who's unpacking for us the different ingredients that he uh, is backing basically with all of his entrepreneurial expertise uh, that he feels scientifically is what's going to bring to the skin the beauty, the revitalization that this industry is spending millions and millions and billions of dollars on, but also some of the uh, the better feelings that you have as you get older and you have some aches and pains. You can't. You'd like to use a muscle rub that works for you, and the ingredients are crossovers. Because they're all topical. They're all for the skin. And many people have said, oh, you know what? Topicals don't work. Well, there are reasons that they don't work. And one of the things that Eric has pointed out is because they're just not fresh. They don't have the energy to really interact with the organ of the body, which is the skin. Now, uh, we're going to get back to Eric in a moment. I do the disclaimer. This is not an ad. Uh, I'm not being paid to tell you about these. I really feel you need to understand the ingredients that you're working with. And you've probably paid quite a bit of money for. And we're going to learn more from Eric. Uh, For those of you who also know that I have a blog, I want you to understand that Aging for Beginners is now every single week. It is very, very popular among younger people. So tell your kids about it. A lot of people in their 20s and 30s are reading about it. And uh, if you want a heads up on everything, just go to generationboldradio.com. Give me your email and you will receive information on the latest in aging research, what we're doing on the air, and what we're doing in our blog. So, Eric, uh, you do have products. And where can people find and read about them? Sure. They can go to uh, buyquanta.com, B-U-Y-Q-U-A-N-T-A.com. They'll find everything we've got currently. And uh, and everything that comes out brand new will be launched right there. And I'll probably, there'll be probably quite a line. Right now, there is the cream that I liked and, and now do use. I, I got it one free sample, one free sample, okay? Uh, but many more uh, I also, <laughs> many more. I also got a free sample uh, from Eric of CBD Muscle Rub, and I'm going to be honest. I didn't use it. Why? I'm so blessed. I just don't have those aches and pains. So uh, I, and I've used a lot of CBD things just to, to see what it's like. But I do want to ask you straight up. CBD is such a popular thing to invest in. It's trending. You know, it's a big deal. Uh, but you chose it because you, you believe in it. Tell us a little bit more about that ingredient. The last person that I had here talking about CBD was a research scientist. And I'm not sure people really had that translation that they could understand its value in the body from a scientist with with his jargon and, and, you know, very sophisticated. So explain to us a little bit about that as an ingredient in muscle rub or face cream or anything. Sure, sure, yeah. So there's there's some very distinct benefits. And and, and I actually went into CBD first, not necessarily as a major believer, but – um, to prove out our science. So if we proved out our science with more mainstream ingredients or even a pharmaceutical play, we would have uh, really raised a lot of eyebrows that we didn't want raised at that point in time. So making a scientific innovation in CBD allows us to kind of stay under the radar while we're making other innovations. So that was really the primary driver. The secondary driver behind it was that as far as natural anti-inflammatories go, CBD is probably the freshest that you'll find. 
Um, now, what our science does is it can take an old ingredient that's been, you know, in storage for four and a half years that has almost no bioenergy left in it to do its job and reinvigorate it to the point where it's almost alive again. So it's really what we're all about is raising the vibrational energy level within these targeted ingredients. But CBD by itself has many properties. Um, great for the skin, soothes the skin, does a lot of work with the pores. More importantly, it acts as a local or a systemic uh, anti-inflammatory, supposed to. But in general, hemp is a, is a new area. So, so the, the hemp that you're, you're consuming with CBD right now will definitely work better than, say, turmeric. Uh, due to the fact that the turmeric has an established global market and that people who extract it and put it in powder form, they store it in silos for three or four years until the price is right and then sell it into the market. However, hemp is extracted usually within a year you're getting it, so it still has more bioenergy than the other ingredients. However, before being polarized, uh, which is the process that we call raising the energy level in each ingredient and making it more uh, effective in the body, we did a petri dish study on ibuprofen, turmeric, and CBD, and we introduced them in a petri dish to the COX-2 enzyme, which is what causes inflammation. All three of them absorbed around the same rate, between 10 and 12 percent, were absorbed into the enzyme. After polarizing the ingredients, we saw the on CBD we saw the the, the increase of absorption in that enzyme move from 12 percent to 71 percent. Significant, significant jump. Right, that's significant. Uh, and, and the others were around the same, but CBD, again, uh, it's a great market to launch out new innovation because there's not a ton of regulation yet. It's on its way, um, and it allowed us that freedom to be able to innovate and, and, and talk about these results without having big fears of big pharma coming after us. So, yeah, um, so, so that was a business reason, business reason behind it. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, so let, let me unpack this a little bit about um, the ingredient side. What we're hearing here is that inflammation is the enemy, and that anything that can reduce it is the friend, and anything that can reduce it faster or more is a bigger friend. So when you're looking at things like turmeric or hemp or CBD, uh, and you're looking at things uh, that are better um, in, in their efficiency, hemp CBD comes out ahead. So, and from a business point of view, it was an easier way to to launch. So there were a lot of good good things there. Now, I personally take turmeric uh, as a food, as a spice, mm-hmm. and I find ways to use it every day. Now, here's my question: You have a real focus and concentration on the bioenergy of of an ingredient, regardless of whether it's a face cream or a muscle cream, whatever it is. This is a big thing for you and for Quanta. I'm asking you a food question. At the Medicity sure. Conference, we, we talk about food is medicine. Are you saying that spices, which they'll tell you you can put in your cupboard for two years, three years, are losing their bioenergy just like all the other things that you're mentioning that people might be using in, in creams and lotions? Is, is, it, is, is that something we have 100. to watch? Just like 100%. Okay, tell me about it. i got to go throw out my closet. Ugh. All right, yeah, so, talk. So, tell me about it. So I can explain bioenergy very simply. So imagine a squirrel in the forest, right? This is a very tiny creature. If you made it human size, it would be so athletic, you'd consider it a superhero, could jump over a building. It's very athletic. That squirrel, aside from in the winter when it's eating the acorns that it's stored, generally it eats a plant that's growing directly from the ground. Now that plant is very similar to a cell phone that's plugged into an energy source. So it's consuming 100% of the energy from that plant. So every ingredient going into that squirrel's body is telling it the full story and giving it a full explanation of what the body needs to do. Now imagine another animal comes along and eats the squirrel. The squirrel dies. When, this, when anything dies, human, plant, doesn't matter, it loses anywhere between 50 and 70% of its natural bioenergy. Now that energy is super important because it allows the ingredients uh, we're, all, we're all consumption animals. Everything that we consume is designed to transfer energy and information, everything. So when something dies, it loses 50 to 70% of its natural energy. Then it gets put through the digestive tract and eventually exits the uh, body of the, of the consumer and sits there and turns white and blows away in the wind. Well, most of the ingredients, especially in beauty and topical, comes in powder format and it's mixed, mixed together with water and oil or water or oil, I should say, in order to make base foundations for, for healing creams. However, these things are now stored somewhere in a silo, and they have a defined market. So a lot of people will, you know, harvest and purchase an isolate or a powder format of an ingredient, 
and let it sit there for two or three years before the market turns and they get a premium price, then they sell it. Well, every day that goes by, that, thing, that, that ingredient loses energy. And that's a scientific fact. That's a, that's a very quantum mechanical based thing. And we are very much in quantum biology. We use quantum physics and, and it, with biological entities to make them work better. So even in food, especially in food, now food is an interesting topic. It's difficult to get into as a business because of the FDA. However, right. food is very important. There are so many diseases that are, that are occurring in the last 50 to 60 years, which directly coincides with food processing and food storage for market, uh, market profits that we can see uh, fibromyalgia on the rise rapidly. Uh, we can see uh, Alzheimer's on the rise rapidly, eczema, psoriasis. Our theory, which we haven't proven yet because it will take us five to ten years to do this with the, the standards of today's world because uh, it will infiltrate a lot of other businesses, but the theory is that right now the food we're consuming has so little bioenergy in it. It's just biomass, and we hear that term a lot, biomass. It's just mass. It's lacking energy that our bodies are using more energy to process the things that we eat than they're getting in return, which is causing very serious nervous system problems like fibromyalgia, which is fairly unexplainable. One of the more logical explanations that we've come up with is that your body is using more energy than it's getting in return on almost everything that you consume, which is causing a defunct electrical system. Does that make sense? So it does make sense. And I want everybody to understand that I am making connection here between deep science and consumerism, uh, and I'm and I'm basically using a fellow who is has one foot in each of these professions to explain it. So before we take our break, Metabesity, this is the conference that I'm working on right now. Believe it or not, one of the big sponsors last year, and I'm going to give them credit right now, was PepsiCo, because they have a division that has to do with food and energy uh, and food as medicine, and they're they're researching. So this is not somebody who woke up in the morning and said, this is the way the science is. This is the way the science is. We'll come back. We will be back in just a moment. Don't you go anywhere. You may think that I'm full of it, but that doesn't bother me, not even a bit, because I am happy and I freely admit I'm inappropriate for my age. Da-da-da-da. And hello, hello, hello. We are doing something very unusual today. We are painstakingly going through the ingredients and the processes that may be in some, but not all, of the creams that you use. It is a billion, multi-billion dollar business. Um, if I gave you the statistics, it would be staggering, but it's more than we, uh, in many cases, depending on our economic level, spend on food. We spend to put on our face. And the minute you put anti-aging on anything, uh, you may as well have a police line because people are going to be jamming the, the stores to buy it. And then they go home and nothing happens. So uh, we try to figure out why that is. And what we are learning right now from uh, the CEO and chairman of Quanta, Q-U-A-N-T-A, that does have face creams and muscle rubs, and this is going to continue in product line, uh, is that inflammation in the body is one of the reasons that we age in general and our skin specifically ages. And the fact that ingredients are stored so that their bioenergy, which is needed to make a change, a real change in our body, so it's not just topical, goes down and down and down. And so there's very little energy even in our food, let alone in what we put on our face or what we put on our muscles. All right, so let, let's go back um, uh, to speaking with Eric Rice about, you know, your impetus. Everybody uh, on my show has a reason. There's no doubt a reason that they deal with anything that has to do with aging. There's always a journey. There's always a mission. There's always a point of view. And I, I think one of yours is, is, is to have people just feel better as they grow older. And that's certainly my mission. But, but how did you come to that? Why of everything you could have invested in and, and created as an entrepreneur, it's this? Uh, well, selfishly, from, for, for my, own, my own health. So um, I was, I'm a former baseball player, and I, I didn't have the skill level other players had, so I really couldn't afford to miss a game. 
So before games, I used to fill my hand with ibuprofen, show them in my mouth, chew them, and eat them so that I could go through an entire nine innings without pain and, and, and play, uh, you know, play like the other guys did. And over time, it burned up a lot of my insides. And, and about four, and four years ago, I was told I couldn't take any more ibuprofen, um, which was literally how I got through every single day of my life. So I turned to CBD. It worked fairly well for me. Um, and, then, and then we partnered up and, and acquired this technology. And that CBD literally got rid of a sprained ankle at 40 years old. I sprained my ankle and it was gone in 48 hours. Even as a young man, it would take me two weeks to get over it. So I got into it selfishly for, for my, own, my own good to see if it would work. And, and I am absolutely the guinea pig of every product we have. So my, my fundamental theory when we created this rub using our technology to increase that absorption rate so high in inflammation uh, was simply that our theory is very, you know, we, we took quantum biology and boiled it down to four simple words, reduce pain, increase joy. And, and joy or the emotional state people have is just as important as the physical part of aging. So the better mentality you have and the better spirits that you're in, your body responds to that. If you've got great positive energy going through you, it, it resonates with every cell in your body. And right now, about 24% of the world suffers from chronic pain, meaning that they have pain that lasts every day longer than six weeks. So when we started thinking about it scientifically, we started realizing that 22% or you know, 1.7, 1.8 billion people a day suffer pain and have massive levels of inflammation, which is opening the door for illness, death, aging, all kinds of things. And more importantly, when you're in pain and you're, 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 you're stiff or sore in any, any capacity, you're not, really, you're not really vibrating at the right level. You're not as happy as you could be or as joyous as you could be. And that extends to other people. So our, our fundamental theory first was to help people remove their daily, uh, daily bumps and bruises and pains and stiffness to kind of create a better environment where people are nicer to each other. You know, if, if we could take away everyone's pain for a half an hour a day, we'd have better mothers, better fathers, better friends, better employees, you know, better neighbors. And that was really kind of the, the, the place that we started. You know, what we have also is something even bigger than that, that we're beginning to, to realize. Uh, we talk about scientifically the seven things you have to do for longevity, just to live longer, um, specifically longevity. And one of them is life purpose. The other one is relationships and friendships. And now the studies are being done, Eric, that show, for example, that if you have a life purpose, it actually helps you live longer than not smoking. Now, that's a dangerous study because you don't want to tell people it's okay to smoke as long as you have a lot of friends and a life purpose. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you, science can drive you a little mad. But the fact is it's true. Uh, so we say to ourselves, you mean biologically, biologically, we are younger because we have more friends. We have a life purpose. That, that seems like it's nice to have friends and a life purpose. We're maybe happier, but we're actually biologically younger. And the answer is yes. We, it, it's almost impossible for you guys, and I live and breathe this every day as is Eric, to see how many connections there are among how you feel and how you are. It's just amazing. So I, I get I get exactly what your mission was on this. And now I don't want to lose though our train here because these ingredients are very important. I want to end with this. I noted that in your ingredient list you have a lot of oils. You have argan oil. These are these are probably things many of my listeners have as individual ingredients in their cupboard. My mother used to say she had the healthiest closet in the United States. So she'd buy it all and leave it in the closet. So there's argan oil, there's the arnica oil, there's primrose oil, there's cucumber oil. This is all I'm getting right from your ingredient list I have in the package. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I know Correct. what an oil is. What is I, I, I know an oil. Of course I know what it is. But as a, a layman, it's just something that, that's greasy. What is an oil compared to any other kind of substance? Uh, well, number one, an oil is a step up in bioenergy. So probably the lowest form of an ingredient with bioenergy is a powder, dry, fairly dead. Uh, oil is a step up. Oil is a condensation, like an essential oil. is basically just an extraction of a plant to get a specific molecule, which comes in oil format from the plant. Uh, almost all oils come from plants. They are making some from animal, but that doesn't make much sense to me. Um, because plants are so important to what we are. And kind of go back to what you're talking about. I, I just got done meeting with a friend of mine who did a, a study on centurions, people who live to be 100. The number right. one 
commonality between them was a social structure. Number two was they ate more plants than animals, which is important because plants are our life force. We, uh, the difference between a human and a plant on a DNA uh, st- a level is 2%. We are almost identical to a plant on a DNA structure. So they provide a lot of benefits to us. We use oils because they have high, higher bioenergy. And what we do is we're, we're turning an ingredient into a quantum energy source. And in quantum, you know, anything quantum level, heat is a very important uh, thing to, to, to deal with. So with oils, it helps maintain that polarized high energy state much longer than a dry ingredient, which is exposed to oxygen and the environment uh, ever would. So Hoping we use that- oils to be able to store the energy. So I'm hoping that uh, when you look in your closet next, when you look in your uh, medicine cabinet, and you're looking at the things that are not prescription, uh, you'll know a little bit better why these things are important, whether it's in what you use, and that there's real science behind this. And we thank you so much, um, Eric Rice, who is the CEO and uh, uh, the chairman of Quanta, and that is Q-U-A-N-T-A. You uh, give us your, the uh, website just one more time, Eric. Sure, it's buyquanta.com, B-U-Y-Q-U-A-N-T-A.com. Okay, and I thank you so much for being with us. I really love this show, and don't forget, we're going to be covering things that you can do, hints and tips on the corona. Uh, It's obviously something that nobody knows the exact answer to, but go wash your hands, and as I say every week, get out there, kids, and make it happen. I'm inappropriate.